Pakistan produces more than 45 billion bricks per year, earning the reputation as the third largest brick producer in South Asia after China and India. In this sprawling traditional brick production site, workers here produce 30,000 pieces of handmade bricks every 24 hours. Anyone who has ever seen a traditional brick kiln operating like this will have likely noticed the billowing black smoke spewing from a towering chimney. This type of brick production is called the Fixed Chimney Bull Strange Kilns or the FCBTK named after the British engineer William Bull who invented this system in Bengal in 1876. The system is the most widely used brick firing technology in South Asia. Throughout Pakistan, there are more than 20,000 brick production sites of this kind. Workers in this production work around the clock to earn as much as they can as they are paid according to the number of bricks they mold, carry, bake, or transport. Brick kilns like these are mostly family businesses or owned by wealthy individuals in Pakistan. Because of this, unlike other industries, they tend to have limited institutional contact. As a result, the industry is poorly understood from the supply and demand sites. Nevertheless, despite being largely invisible, and has received little political attention due to its informality as a sector and largely hidden nature of their operations, this industry still contributes 1.5% to Pakistan's gross domestic product. Brick production here begins with the arrival of the clay mix brought from the clay source area not far from this site. The wet clay is transported through a deep trailer pulled by a farm tractor. The trailer releases the clay mix through an outlet pushed by a rotating giant screw from the inside, thus mixing the clay before it could be released. The design workers who would mold this mixed clay into bricks wait until the release of the clay is finished. In this case, two underage boys, Shakir and Hamza, are the ones assigned to work on this batch of clay mix. In an informal industry like this, it is common and permissive to see child workers working around. We try to ask the boys why they are working here. <laughs> A brick is formed through a molding usually made of fabricated iron sheets. The molded brick is then left to dry under the sun for a couple of days before it is gathered for baking. After sun drying, the bricks will be carried by another set of workers to the firing chamber where they will be baked by the burning coal for at least 24 hours. At the baking chamber, these men stuck the sun-dried bricks for about 3 meters high. 
Just like the rest of the brick kilns across Pakistan, this one, which is located in the village of Shagai, Katlang in Mardan, relies on animal labor, primarily horses, to transport bricks within its working periphery. These bricks will then be covered by earth or brick dust for insulation and to prevent heat loss. Workers sustain the fire by adding fuel through feeding holes on top of the chamber every 15 to 20 minutes. In the course of baking the bricks, the flue gases or the black smoke goes towards the chimney. Because the feeding holes are firing around the clock, workers here have no problem finding burning stoves to cook for their meals. Just like in any other workplaces, workers here also come and go. Once the fire sufficiently bakes the stuff, Workers remove the cooled stock of bricks from the front of the cooling zone and replace it with a new stock of bricks and the process repeats. At the site, we chance upon the owner of this brick business. While recognizing the benefits of brick making in the community for providing its hundreds of workers a source of livelihood, it is equally important to discuss the elephant in the room. Brick kills are recognized as one of the largest stationary sources of black carbon and along with iron and steel production contributes 20% of total worldwide black carbon emissions. Black carbon is produced by the incomplete combustion of fossil fuel and biomass. It has a warming impact on climate 460 to 1,500 times stronger than carbon dioxide. Its lifetime in the atmosphere varies from a few days to a few weeks. According to a recent study made in Pakistan, 22.4% of the workers in brick production had chronic cough while 21% reported chronic phlegm. 13.8% had two or more attacks of shortness of breath with wheezing or a coarse whistling sound when breathing. Likewise, 17.1% of the workers were also suffering from chronic bronchitis while 82% suffered from asthma. That being said, the workers in this industry extremely feel the delicate balance between living and avoiding lung diseases. However, it is good to know that recently, Pakistan is now learning from the Nepalese success story and brick kill entrepreneurs from across Pakistan who want to transform their kilns into cleaner and energy efficient technology participated in training on zigzag firing practices. This included a visit to Nepal where they saw brick kilns built according to the new design manual and theoretical and practical training sessions in Lahore and Islamabad.